This topic is very sensitive, so viewer discretion is advised. I will not show any inappropriate footage, but the topic overall is very serious. First and foremost, this video will be for the most part on script, but also on some parts off script. It will generally be a bit laid back compared to other videos, since I just want to try out something new. First off, I want to give reasons to justify covering this topic, since this is not your usual internet mystery, but rather the most illegal stuff you can find online. First off, my intention with this is to spread awareness that this stuff can exist on the clear web and not only on the hidden web. Secondly, this video will only discuss public information and things that are not being looked into, so I will not include the newest leads or stuff that is being looked into. Further, the investigation overall on this topic has been on hold for over half a year now, so it made sense to cover it now. I will refrain from showing any names, I will refrain from showing any URLs or give any sources, so you will have a hard time to look any of this up. FBI reports have been made, one of the websites was probably even taken down by the feds. Subreddits and the respective users discussed in this video are all banned. The subreddit was banned six months ago. Lastly, refrain from researching and investigating this topic, since it's highly illegal and you will stumble across stuff that you will probably regret for the rest of your life. Alright, before we start with the investigation, I just want to stress on the fact that if you have any suggestions for video topics, please post them in the comments or on my subreddit. You can also message me on social media, but I'm rather inactive on there. Other than that, if you like the videos, I'd greatly appreciate a sub and let's dive into this. A post on a subreddit, which I'm not going to mention, with the title Found a Weird Subreddit was the first post that drew people's attention to this topic. The replies under the threats varied a lot. Some people were concerned, others declared the sub as a troll for edgy humor. One user in the replies claims that he first found the subreddit through a user that posted in R depression that received a lot of negative attention. He checked his profile and then found the subreddit. Overall, the subreddit was called R Hangstank. At first glance, it looked like a subreddit for edgy memes. Anyway, someone on Kiwi Farms adds more to the findings. Lots of occult stuff, open your third eye, astral project, etc. When you keep reading posts and comments, you start seeing hints that this is a community of refugees from some place that shut down, possibly for trading CP, possibly formally on the dark net. Reference is made to this new way of exchanging. Nothing is said about what's being exchanged, which suggests plenty itself. There is an apparently sincere discussion about the most effective poisons and one about whether should be legal when the child really needs liberating. One starts to suspect that something is hidden in the strange images. Let's take a look at the other stuff that a user in the r hangstang subreddit wrote about. In one of his threads, he talks about his 113 bros. He talks about how he read some 113 material and what he describes here is pretty odd and hard to make sense of. He mentions the word undead a lot. Probably some... Under the threat, people tell him to destroy the attachments. I don't want to speculate too much, but let's keep this in mind. In one of the threats, he mentions Nafisa Joseph and calls her his favorite 113. This is how she looks like. Looking her up on Wikipedia, we realize that she already passed away. The cause of her passing away is... The second threat mentions Oksana Shashko. He says that this is a good source for some 113. This is a picture of her. Looking her up will also show us that she herself. I mean, it's pretty obvious that these sick individuals are jacking off to To add to this, there was one more threat and someone called it hot as fuck. 
The post contains a woman's remains, hanging from a burnt house in Morocco, which I'm obviously not going to show. Additionally, there was one more post with a decaying body, and these were the comments by a few individuals. It's just sad that some people go off on It's just disgusting. They mention THH4S quite a bit. This post also contained the numbers 110 and 111. I want to quickly talk about a few of these code words and numbers and what they probably mean. Don't take this info for granted since I'm only speculating here myself. The number 53 is related to occult and opening of the third eye. Number 42 stands for culling us, again goes in the direction of belief, probably occultism but also sounds like some form of online meeting. Number 43 appears to be different stuff, mostly related to interest in females. Number 72 stands for several CP hinted stuff. Number 110 refers to subjects related to fire, probably pyromaniacs. 111 is related to demons from the occult. 113 refers to negrely related subjects. THH4S appears to be used in replace of the word thanks, even though it seems inconsistent. Anyway, let's continue with the threats because we are barely scratching the surface here. In the next thread, he asks people for their favorite poison. It's actually sick how detailed the responses are. I'm going to blur them out, but I wouldn't even call this too suspicious if this was just a random post from a random guy. But with the things I already mentioned, you can probably imagine why he wants to know this. Moving on to the topic of It's so ridiculous that I want to read out the entirety of this post. Do you think is wrong and or should always be illegal? In all cases is currently illegal, however, do you think in some cases it should be legal? Such as 1. The child is in an abusive or unsafe situation home. If the parents were hurting, neglecting, or the child was considering harming themselves and the parents aren't taking active control of the situation. 2. The child is old enough to understand what is going on and consents. An example of this would be the child is 16 and feels they would be safer at a different location and agree for the trusted individual to take them. 3. The child would have ran away and gotten themselves in a worse predicament if they weren't allowed to go to someone's house they could trust. Let's skip to the last two sentences. I just want to see some other people's opinions, especially considering that I'm wanting to help out a child in need. This entire thing obviously comes straight from a psychopath. A lot of people that are interested in immoral things will try to justify it by any means necessary. With the context given, this is a psychopath in the making, if he isn't one already. Some of the replies are also sickening, wishing him good luck on his hunt. Also this one, like holy. How messed up can you be? Study their movements for a few days. They will definitely go to lonely places where there are no surveillance cameras. You need a car with no plates or covered plates, chloroform, mask, knife, robes, also pre-arrange an abandoned location like a shutdown factory or underground places. When things are ready, follow the person, wear the mask, sneak from behind in the lonely places, choke the victim and so on. I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, but stuff like this was circulating under his threats. And honestly, the screenshot I just read was just getting more and more detailed. There was something similar regarding the topic of car manipulation. OP wanted to know how to manipulate a car to cause an accident and you had a pretty detailed list from an individual in the replies, which I'm going to blur out. You obviously also had your occasional trolls in there and the detailed description on how to kill someone or manipulate a car also might have been just edgy jokes, even though it's extremely detailed. There was also this one post where someone asked how to get into a house unnoticed, but this seems less genuine compared to the other ones. I wouldn't make this video if I didn't have 100% proof that some of these people are legit. 
They mean what they say and you will probably share the same opinion towards the end of this video. Let's continue with some other posts regarding their former community. In one of the threads, the user mentions how good it feels to be back and about his old gang. He wants to build back what they had before, you know what happened. He also calls this place a new hangout spot. In the next thread, he talks about the importance of culling us. Culling us appears to be some sort of religion. Something that is being repeated in these texts is that you need to close both of your ears and open both of your eyes to see the truth. They also use our culling us as a replacement after our hangstank got banned. In the next one, he talks about his story named Jake. We'll talk about this in a moment. Following this, we see someone that says that he was responsible for the prior shutdown of the forum. He or she calls themselves blank and he also mentions a machete in the post. This guy seems to be behind the shutdown of the, the old forum, the prior forum. I cannot mention the name here. Um, however, let's return to that Jake chapter one story. It's funny that he claims that it's just based off of his imagination and just fantasy since the story is completely absurd and disgusting and I'll just read out one segment of it to just illustrate how sick it is. Then there was mom's secret weapon, the medicine she bought on the grey market to be injected four times a year in her daughter's pert little rump designed to block the girl's ability to make the hormones that should have begun to bring the girl along to puberty. The next one is unrelated to this one, but with a similar theme. Here, someone wishes for child beauty pagans full frontal Some people under the threat say that it's disgusting and stuff, but stuff like this is pretty normal, if not even harmless for this group. Before we move on to the next big segment, let's talk about some of the victims. There is a detailed blank provided by the OP of the blank threat. I won't go into every lead they have, but I thought it's interesting to look at some of the posts that were made on our culling us and our hangstank. Maybe we can see certain patterns when we look at the victims. The blank kept a log for 31 victims mentioned on the subreddits. Person number one is Sophie Toscan Duplantier, who was beaten to a outside her holiday home near Tormor in Ireland. The second person is Sherilyn Lay Mitchell, who went missing in 1973 when she was meeting a friend at a bus stop. If the person behind the account on R Culling Us knows of her location is unknown. This is 21-year-old Shania McNeil, who was in head-on collision in Sydney. She and her friend filmed themselves swerving their car into an oncoming traffic wave, leading to her passing away and four people being injured. Savannah LaFontaine was found duct taped in plastic in the Red River while being pregnant. She is one of many that suffer under violence against Native American women. Sarai Sierra, a 33-year-old photographer, arranged a meeting online with someone named Talon one day before she vanished. This case is still unsolved. These were just five out of the 31 documented in the blank and there were obviously much more threats in our hangstang before it got banned. Most of the pictures posted on the sub are public information and can be traced through reverse image searches. I don't think that any of the people that posted these images are behind the disappearances of the victims. But obviously, they seem to get aroused talking about it. Let's move to some Reddit threads about this investigation. 
There was one on blank subreddit and the OP provided a couple of things that one could look into. He made an archive of what our Hangstank looked like back then. He mentions that one could look into all of the accounts that posted there to find out more about this topic. The archive is pretty graphic, so I'm not going to show it here, but I tried to find some accounts that could be seen in the archive and most, if not all of them, are suspended or they don't have anything visible in their profiles. At the time of the subreddit being online, most of the profiles were really new and made for the purpose of making posts or commenting on the subreddit. They also discussed some books and talked about the old place, but there is no evidence for either of those things existing yet. We don't know where to find the books or the old hangout spot. Some posts also included codes, for instance, I've been inactive since 1,577,941,640 seconds since January 1st, 1970, which obviously is something not meant to be understood by the broad public. It's an Unix timestamp, which is actually nothing too out of the ordinary, but why the user used this exact date remains unclear. In one of the threads in our hangstank, OP saw a picture of what looked like a decaying child in a bucket. The image in question had a watermark for blank. He checked the domain through Wayback and it seemed to be a forum with elements. The website in question had a long history with getting suspended or taken offline and then being reinstated. If it really is connected to our hangstank or not remains unclear. But what can be observed is that they ripped the images that they share on the subreddit from that website, at least according to OP. I didn't check it myself since I want to keep my sanity, but OP has been very trustworthy throughout this entire investigation, so I believe him and if I really wanted to, I still could check everything. He had a few leads in the threads, but when the subreddit was banned, he stopped updating the thread. But the real investigation just started. There was one exception regarding the users that were visible in the archive. A user named Blank is posting very bizarre things on multiple subreddits. On the Blank subreddit, he asked the following. What can I be charged with? The police have seized the electronics from my apartment, two of my laptops and one of my daughter. On my laptop, the police will find content that they may deem immoral, but I don't know if I can be arrested for it. Is there any crime I can be charged with by just possessing photos and documents on my laptop? Thanks in advance and I apologize for not being more specific, but this is a very scary situation for me. We don't really need to speculate here, it's something along the lines of CP or all of it on his PC. In the next thread, he pretty much asked the same question, but in a different sub. People tell him that he won't get his electronics back because the police seized them. Further, they tell him that his deleted files can easily be reinstated and that it probably is not a good idea to post about all of this online when you are the target of police in the first place. He simply ignores all of this and keeps on asking and creates more threats. In the next one he asks, what is the worst thing you can find on someone's computer? And the replies are what everybody probably thinks as well. There is a subreddit that's called blank and he made a thread there as well that reads as follows. Can I be charged as a if the police find things on my laptops? My laptops were seized by the police the other day to be searched and I have still heard nothing back from them. I'm afraid that I will be sent to prison as a because of them. People on other subs have said I can be sent to prison for having inappropriate or immoral content on my laptops. Is this true? And would I have to register as a now, I don't want to judge someone for something they write or do on the internet, but this guy seems to clearly lack brain cells. 
I mean, what is he even trying to accomplish here? This seems like pure panicking of someone who is guilty. Someone replied to the threat with the information that OP might be from Ireland and that he posted on a threat from him before. He mentions the subreddit blank. Let's take a look. How to survive prison. I might be going to prison and I have no idea what to expect. Do they separate from violent inmates or throw them all in together like the movies? I'm in Ireland and in my early 40s with no record. Someone reacted to one of his replies with a personal anecdote. Nah, you'll be fine. Community service at best. Went through the same situation a year ago and they never even got back to me. I was scared shitless. Don't panic, friend. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing. The account of the user posting this has been suspended. He goes on and asks how to get into a psychiatric hospital. The replies shown here are pretty worrisome, to say the least. In the next one, he's worried about his children. One is 15 and the other 24 years old. His wife is a selfish person and he doesn't want her to have the kids when he goes to prison. One reply here is very important for our investigation. It reads as follows. You very desperately needed to stop posting on the internet about 24 hours ago. You have left a trail of confessions a mile wide. The police sees your computers that may or may not but almost definitely contain CP and the first thing you do is admit it on Reddit, get off the internet, go find an attorney. Edit, deleting your post and your weird aren't going to hide them from the police. You need an attorney and serious mental health help and I'm not sure which is needed more urgently. The user mentions deleting posts and a weird What she exactly refers to is maybe a bit unclear, but I guess she talks about our Hanks tank. Let's close this section by going through this user's last post on blank subreddit considering a divorce before prison sentence. As stated in the title, I want to leave my wife because I'm at risk of being sent to prison. The reason for this is that she has a big mouth and will tell everybody I know, my family and friends about it. I'll tell her I'm moving to a different state or something. It is also worth mentioning that there is no emotional attachment as she is a terrible woman who ruined my life. If she knows about me being locked up, she will turn my kids against me. I would like your options on this. Thank you. Once again in the replies, one can see his low IQ once more. Now, I could talk about the next subreddit, which is our calling us in more depth, but I'll keep it minimal since it's very similar to our Hangstank. I will refer to one of the OP's findings in this one. Our calling us was made because our Hangstank was banned. On our calling us, there was a user named blank, which we'll refer to as blank from here on. OP found a threat from him where he asked how to illegally customize a gun to make it full auto. His backstory is he brought a gun to school and someone told on him. He never brought it out however and believes he shouldn't have been expelled from school as now he can't join the OP did a reverse image search and found a website that is similar to 4chan, probably 8 or 9chan or something similar where the guy was completely doxxed. The doxxers probably acquired more info than what blank knows about himself. I've never seen such an elaborate doxing attack. Blank was active in a discord server and on 8chan so it was easy to dox him through that. Also his activities were suspicious on these platforms thus some people decided to dox him this elaborately. Normally I would just show his information since this guy's a piece of shit, but YouTube policies are very weird if you saw what happened when Memamax doxed some people 
then you'll maybe understand why I'll refrain from doxing this guy. But hey, if a police officer maybe watches this video, and I had one police officer watching one of my videos before, I'm more than happy to give you all of the info about this guy so you can arrest him if he isn't arrested already. Just to give you an idea what is known about this guy. Name, age, emails, his address, his school, face pictures, his websites, multiple Skype accounts, his p along a picture of that, current girlfriend, mother's name, ex-girlfriend, pictures of all of them, grandma's name, an address, and way more. I just want to give you some information so you can understand how much of a psychopath this guy really is. Here on Kibi Farms, he talks about how he posted Lolly on 32chan, whatever that is, but he got called a for that. As a result, he dogs and harassed them for months and got them fired from work, kicked out of school. He continues to say that he should find out what their numbers are to send a On the next post, he talks about how he got into trouble for saying these things. Further, he was permabanned on 4chan on multiple IPs for legal CP. Like, how can CP be legal? Like, this guy is just scum. I don't know how, but the guy providing this info managed to get access to his email account and found an archive of his website. At the time of this happening, me and someone else were investigating this together and I asked him if he checked the archive. He was just telling me the usual stuff, that he saw some etc, but then he told me that the is more extreme than what was visible on the subreddits. I think I just told him to stop looking at it and continue with a different lead, but then he said, nope, I'm out of there, and mentioned something along the lines of how there could be something like that on the clear web. And I know what you're thinking, and it's exactly that. In this moment, we closed the investigation immediately, deleted everything related to it, and yeah, I'm just done. I knew that this investigation would be pretty messy, but I didn't expect that there would be real CP on a clear web website. You could literally just google the website and you would be there. The website in question has been taken down 2-3 to three months ago, probably by the feds. I think the FBI is on it, so I won't mention the newest leads regarding this investigation. But yeah, this is pretty much it. When the investigation stopped, I started to write the script research some more, censored out information that could lead you to dig everything up yourself, etc. I want to end this video by stating once more that you shouldn't look any of this up. I'll end the video here. I greatly appreciate a sub, comment and a rating if you enjoy the content and have a nice day.